We're looking at the key of A major today. We're going to transform this into the key of A minor. And one thing that I have not pointed out uh, in previous videos is this concept of parallel keys. Okay, a parallel key is a, like the key of A major, for instance, has a parallel key of A minor. So that was what we would call a parallel key. You could also say that uh, if you have a song that starts in the key of uh, A minor, let's say your, your song starts in the key of A minor, and then it changes, so the verse is in A minor, and then it changes in the chorus to A major, you would not call that a key change, you would actually call that a mode change. You're changing from the minor mode to the major mode. And if that was over your head, that's okay. For some of you, that's just review but just want to introduce those concepts. Uh, so just stick that in the back of your mind. Okay, so we're going to take the key of A and we're going to change this into the key of A minor, the parallel minor. And we're going to do that, of course, by moving the C sharp down to a C. So we're going to flat the third. We're going to flat the sixth, which is F sharp. We're going to flat that. That becomes an F. And then we flat the G and that becomes... Uh, the G sharp, that becomes G. This is also a good example of what I've mentioned in previous videos where you flat the third, you flat the sixth, and you flat the seven. That does not mean that the note is going to be a flatted note. As you can see here, this is just a C natural, F natural, G natural. All this means is we are moving those notes down by one half step on the guitar. That's one fret on the guitar. So we had C sharp, F sharp, G sharp. They did not become C flat, F flat, G flat. They were simply moved down a half step and so they became natural notes.